Hello there. Today I want to show you my son's lightsaber collection. Uh, just yesterday I uploaded uh, an updated version of my collection. Um, I had a mix of Crimson Dawn and Ultra Sabers. Um, I've got my Crimson Dawn shirt on today though because four out of five of these is Crimson Dawn. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I started from the top and went down on my collection video, but for today I'm going to actually go bottom up. So this is the Dark Templar from Crimson Dawn. Uh, this is for my younger son. He's not as into lightsabers as uh, myself and my older son, but of course I had to get him one and he, you know, was really attracted to more brutal uh, sabers, so uh, he had to get the cross guard. So I've added some gold, um, some gold armor here. Uh, this is actually just strips of tape that I got at a hobby store. We sw uh, swapped out this emitter. It used to be one of these emitters, but I wanted a shorter emitter that would bring this main blade down a little bit closer to this T base there. And, and of course you'll notice I added some hot glue uh, on the outside to give it that uneven crackly look, which goes great with that uneven font. Um, actually, let me, let me truly change to the unstable. Unstable. So yeah, that looks, very cool. Uh, so this saber and these two here are all in the V6 core from Crimson Dawn. So we've got smooth swing, nine different fonts, uh, and so forth. So of course this is the uh, Sukanshido from Crimson Dawn. Um, it normally comes with just kind of a, a normal cylindrical hilt with this beautiful suba, and the uh, emitter is normally um, like this emitter here, um, but we swapped it for uh, the smaller emitter just to give it more of that, uh, you know, katana, you know, gold here at the top, gold here at the bottom. And of course, I have wrapped this in a katana wrap, uh, and I made sure to just leave the button uh, hole there. And he has his katana ripper blade in this. Cannot recommend Ripper Blades enough. They make beautiful pieces of art here. Um, and this just complements this already, um, you know, Japanese style hilt so much better. All right, so let's go to the next one. And this is more of the saber that my son uses to duel with. Uh, so he actually, um, uh, before we got the Sukunshido, I got this to, to kind of test out that katana wrap on, just because this hilt is a little flat, so it actually does have more of um, a similar style handle that a katana wrap would normally go on versus being uh, purely cylindrical. Um, but he uses this mostly for dueling. It's a very hefty saber, just because of how much aluminum is on the outside. Um, and then of course we've got our 36 inch blade here. This saber is not, um, is the only non uh, Crimson Dawn saber in this collection. And this is one that I actually had um, probably about the same year that, that my son was born, maybe maybe uh, a year after I uh, had gotten this. This is a 2005 uh, Master Replica. I have since bequeathed it to my son. Um, and it's just a string blade, um, standard blue. No smooth swing, but it's fairly responsive. Uh, this saber actually came with this stand. Uh, it just has kind of Star Wars on the top um, to the kind of display. And the reason why this saber has taken that over is because this is one of my top number one sabers, uh, Luke's uh, Return of the Jedi green saber. And this is his Profi Neopixel. So uh, these first three were just base lit. Um, this one was string blade, but definitely not good for dueling. Um, we don't duel with this one either because of thin neck uh, and then, you know, just the LEDs in, the, in here, but gotta love that. And I just recently um, swapped out this blade. So I originally got this in the 36 inch heavy grade and it made it very, very top heavy, especially with this thin neck. I knew that that was going to be uh, very hard um, 
to swing and, and potentially have a lot of uh, damage um, if an accident were to happen. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture this on screen, but this is actually the blade that it came with, and if I kind of compare those two, so I got a, instead of a 36 inch, like this blade, I got this in cut special to 33 inches, just so that some of the effects, like the melt, would still show up a little bit. Um, but also, you notice this blade is a bit thicker. Uh, if I had to compare um, the weight difference, I would say that even though this is a NeoPixel blade, because it's 7 8 inch outer diameter and 33 inches, so uh, a little shorter, a little thinner, I would say the weight of this is much um, closer to like this baselet hilt. In fact, I want to say that the, the balance point on this with the shorter, thinner blade is probably, yeah, right about there. So just making that blade a little bit shorter, a little bit thinner, um, but it's just as durable. Um, well, we're not going to duel with it, but um, it's durable if, you know, say we dropped it or something like that um, just while spinning, but cannot say enough about that saber. All right, so let me fire all these up and take a look at them. I hope you guys enjoy. That's my son's lightsaber collection.